Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, radio channel and um, because of work on the house here, I couldn't put the loop antenna in the back with the um, vertical mobile VHF UHF for now, but I have actually installed it temporarily here on my front balcony, which is much closer by the way to my radios, which means the coax to the radio is very short now which, of course, that must help in having better signals. But now it's been here for the past three, four days, at least. I gotta say that it actually performs better here than in the backyard, because there's less noise here. And I've been pretty satisfied with what I've been having in performance. So once again, for those that wonder what this is, it's a W6LVP loop antenna it's an amplified magnetic loop uh, this one has a low and high pass filter to remove fm and medium wave stations that are very strong here that would overload the loop and i'm having a lot of fun i'm actually um, you know it's still noisy uh, it's not a miracle antenna the more what i see of this antenna is that okay it's not miracle it's not something that might actually work well, even if, if it's noisy. So it's not always a good idea, a magnetic loop. They are expensive. This antenna is expensive. Yet, um, for what it is, it's very interesting. And if you don't have a lot of space for an antenna, uh, except maybe putting it up in a ba on, on a balcony like I do here, it actually is pretty amazing as it is very sensitive and very good. But the noise level is a little bit lower, yes, but it's still quite high. Um, this antenna has improved my listening to some extent. There are signals that are better and, yes, easier to listen to. I've noticed that the uh, lower frequencies have much more improvement than the higher frequencies on that respect. 160 meters is just so quiet and amazing. I never had so strong signals there. Um, and, you know, uh, I would say where I, I'm i not sure, because right now my sloper isn't plugged back because it is, uh, there's still some work to do on the house, which means that the sloper isn't ready yet to be plugged back. I have the impression that on the upper part of the HF spectrum, which is, um, say, above 25 megahertz, it might be less sensitive uh, but I need to compare it with my sloper also at the same time on the same radio. So we'll be checking it out. Um, but overall, I am pleased. I'm happy to have the antenna. And I think uh, it's going to make, you know, I'm going to have two antennas. I'm going to have the sloper. I'll keep up the sloper for sure. And I'll have this W6LVP loop installed. I will do a couple of more tests when I have a little more time in positioning it. Uh, one last time in the backyard in another position, which is going to be higher and near the VHF UHF antenna. And of course, I will try another position. I will try it here also uh, differently. But right now, the uh, nice candidate for the position is on the balcony here. And what's nice? Well, it's easy to access for me because this balcony is just, um, you know, I just opened the patio door and you know, do whatever I want to do. It's easy access, and I like that. And, of course, the fact that the coax is very short is also something that I kind of find interesting in here. So more on the uh, W6LVP loop as time goes by and as I do more tests. And, of course, the full review will be coming up in the next couple of weeks once, um, you know, I've found its official place and I've settled down. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.